Welcome to HowValleyFishing.com. Uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about setting up a three-way swivel for fishing river bottoms where there's a lot of rock or a lot of other structure that you can get hung up on and save you some time and save you some money. And uh, it also helps some of your presentation to a few species that are popular in places like the Ohio and the Cumberland rivers. Uh, the first thing you got is you will have a three-way swivel. It's basically a circle with uh, three uh, eyelets connected to it which is nice. Uh, so you're going to have your line coming in for this rig. Uh, you're going to have a heavier test on here. Say you're going for the cats or the big stripers. You know That might be a line anywhere from a 20 to a 60 pound test line coming into the first eye of that three-way swivel. On the second part of this is going to be your uh, leader drop line which is basically you can have a leader and then you can have a snelled hook here that'll float off to the side on the second eyelet of the three-way swivel this will keep that bait suspended off the bottom uh, another thing you can do here is you can actually use a floating jig head and that'll give that uh, bait especially if you're using live bait a little bit more buoyancy so it won't have to fight so hard to, to stay up the third part of the uh, three-way swivel which is coming down to the bottom which is usually going to be you want connected to at least a two ounce sinker uh, is your sinker drop line. With this, on this size test line, you want this to be lighter test line than your uh, your main line coming in from your rod. So if you're using 20 to 60 pound test for this, over here you want to use anywhere from a 12 to a 20. So that way if it does get snagged up, you're actually not going to lose your line. Uh, I mean your whole rig set up, it would be quick and easy. You can just uh, have some pre- pre-spooled anywhere from I, I would say anywhere from 18 to 2 foot 2 foot of uh, that line that lighter line that 12 to 20, 20 pound test line that way it's quick for you uh, I actually have had pretty good luck and I haven't had lost a lot of line doing this it seems like it bounces a little bit better and it drifts in the current a little bit better so it pulls itself out especially because the hook's not getting caught up here so that's what the way that'll look for you I think you have great success and again, that's a three-way swivel. Uh, some species that this will help you really target, especially if you can use the minnow uh, on the end of that line, would be your saugers and your walleyes. They like that suspended off the bottom, so that you'll do a little bit better job of presenting a minnow to them. So there you go. A second species that are really you can really target would be the stripe, the hybrid stripers in the river. That gets off the bottom, makes it more visible for them, and uh, you'll attract them and have a pretty good success. It's just uh, keep it off the bottom. But the main thing, and the main species that you have great luck with, are the blue cats. The blue cats, unlike the sh channels and the shovels, they usually don't like to eat the uh, their bait fish off the bottom of the river. Uh, they like to see, get them off the bottom, so if they're suspended like that, you're going to have a little bit better luck. And uh, that's what this three-way swivel setup will do for you. So keep that in mind. It's a great little tip. I hope uh, you have some success with it. And if you do, send us your pictures. Uh, we'll be happy to put them up on the OhioValleyFishing.com uh, Fish Wall of Fame. And you can send those pictures to Webmaster at OhioValleyFishing.com And looking forward to hearing from you. And good luck out there.